So, when it comes to Ike, I, I struggle to contain it to one word, but when it comes to like how I felt about you beforehand, God, there are a lot of things that I want to, that I want to say about you, but I suppose the thing I would say to begin with, but I literally can't contain it to one word because there are multiple things that I want to say. Um, so, can I, can, I, can I say one word that relates to like a larger subject and then move on to a second word yes. later? If he yes. says beans, Hit him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so before I met Ike IRL, I think the first thing that I felt about him was, I mean, helpful is a good word for it, but I think I want to say something else. I, I just, I just felt like he was um, a really, really, really good friend because when we, like, you and I both had some kind of unique difficulties when we first got into me when we first like after we debuted we kind of struggled with a lot of with a lot of similar stuff and whenever i feel felt like i needed somebody to talk to you were always there like literally always there you were if i had more words to say i would say reliable i would say like you that they're right like as an empath <laughs> as an empath me 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 talking to me talking to vox well, while uh, like uh, like starting to sense that he's upset after I've stabbed him in the chest, yeah. like <laughs> I th like I think that no matter how anxious or upset I might be, you always know the exact right thing to say. No matter what I get myself into, you I feel like you're always there to pull me out. And there's, you know, I mean, I what what can I say? Ike has the strongest pullout game, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> But beyond that, also, also one thing I would like, one thing I'd like to say, again, is just, I, I think the whole, I think like, okay, I'll, I'll say this one other thing, is that before I met you, another thing that I would say is uh, sort of, God, I don't know the, the right way to describe this, but I guess it'd be like, uh, I don't know, unleashed. Unleashed. Like Sonic. Sonic. Oh my yeah. God. Like Sonic! You were so beast, mister! Oh my God! Listen, listen, all right, can we, can we agree Sonic Unleashed is kind of underrated? Can, uh, okay, I don't have to, uh, sorry to derail the conversation, but spicy take, I think that Sonic Unleashed better than both colors and generations. Oh my God. Oh my God, it is. Of course it is, of course it is. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Oh yep. Yep, we lost them. We lost them to but, something. But, but I think the biggest thing I would say is that, like, from the outside, you strike me as a pretty deeply introverted person. I mean, you were on Team Introverts in Niji Ansa. For good reason. You, did you see how we did? Yeah, you, like, the, the <laughs> you did amazing for everything but the communication part. Like, there was so, there's so much about you that I think is defined by, like, struggling to, to socialize, which, first of all, I think is bullshit because you're so great at socializing with me and helping me feel better when I'm in a state. But also, so I think that when it, but like, I say unleashed because that doesn't do any justice to how much talent you have. Mm. And I mean it when I say the reason why, like, it's sort of become a thing that I keep simping for you is the fact that when I saw your karaoke, I was so, mm -hmm. so blown away, not just by how well you did, but by how terrified you were before you went live. Yeah, the, I, I uh, literally like borderline cried to you and Celine prior to the thing the because I was so scared. Were, the anxiety that you were feeling before your karaoke, I've never seen more unjustified anxiety in my life. Like, yes, it's justified in the sense that you're about to do a big and important thing, but it's unjustified in the sense that I slaughter a goal faster than you did. I mean, not only was it already insane before you went live, and, and when you were doing the whole karaoke, but then you decided to do Aspirin. Mm, aspirin. And when you started screaming, and it was just went perfectly, mm -hmm. you didn't need to do, you didn't need to add fancy dressing to it. All you did was you turned up the reverb, you put the right settings on your microphone, and you belted, and I was so proud of you for having made yourself do it. Because you, like you have, you, you just have, that's the best thing about this career. That's the best thing about this job is that you're surrounded by people, by people that you're so blessed to be friends with. Mm -hmm. I've never known a group of people more talented and more hardworking than you guys and you 
epitomize that so much because not only are you so great at singing, not only are you so hardworking, and not only do you have such great ideas for streams, you don't act like you know that. And it makes me so mad because I'm like, <laughs> no one deserves to be, no one deserves to be like massively narcissistic and full of himself more than Ike, who has all of the skills to back it up. Yeah. And he's always trying to mix everyone's song. He's always trying to mix everyone's songs. He's always like, hey, let me do this for you. Let me do that for you. Let me do this. Let me do that. He has so much in the pipeline. He has so much of this. I'm just like, poof, unleashed is the right word for you. Because truly, wherever you were before, now all of your your talent is being seen by more people. And holy shit, is it ever being appreciated by 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 not just them, but me as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I forgot I forgot I still have a second half of this to talk about. Oh my god. Worse and worse and worse. We're like trying to keep it one word and then five words. Uh, listen, so I think that after I met you, I would honestly, I was thinking of like, I was trying to think of my answer, but like, I think after I met you, the whole, the whole thing that struck me is that my answer didn't really change at all. I think the biggest thing that I can say is that like, you're so much, like, it's like what I said earlier with like you having a lot of energy when you sing. Because I think that like even though you're an introverted person, when you talk to people, you're you are very out there, and you can say really inspirational things, and you have a lot of energy when you talk to people. And even though you even though you are an introvert, and you need to take time to rest. You need to take time to like, you know, res like you know, recharge your social battery after a while. Like the energy that you have when you're singing, I've talked about that already, and I mean it when I say. Jack Black in School of Rock, just throwing his head back, <laughs> screaming down the mic. Like, that's the kind of energy that I expect from an introvert having all of their power kind of just pushed straight out into the limelight. A laser. And I, I, I don't know, I can't really go on much more because I've already hogged the limelight enough. I was about to say, this is turning into an essay. <laughs> <laughs> turning into an essay, but, but all, I want, all I want to say to round it off, because I have so much to say about you and how much you've helped me, how much you've inspired me, I could not be more proud to be one of your co-workers at all. Just, Someone just... said a wedding speech. <laughs> <laughs> now at this rate, I'll be the first man because he's, oh. gonna, he's gonna get sick of me. Yeah, yeah. Point, but that's fine. Ike is just hiding his face in his Shut hand. up, don't, don't expose me, Nina Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute. Okay, I'm just, sorry for putting the photo to Saki, but yes, that is how I feel. This is fine. Also, We're so bad at one word, Also, stop way. calling me your co-worker. You're my friend, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. From coworkers to friends to wedding? No, pump the brakes here. Bro wedding. Bro wedding. Completely platonic wedding. Has that ever happened? Oh. Just two, like, yeah. like, like two best friends just getting married for the fuck of it. Uh, do you know... Uh, I mean, Vegas is a thing. No, yeah, well, true. Um, what is do it? I go to you Vegas? Know... You ain't <laughs> slick, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know those like authors in like the 18th century where it's like, yeah, she lived with her best friend for 40 years after both their husbands died in the war. They certainly were very <laughs> good friends. friends. <laughs> it's like that meme, they seem to be good friends. <laughs> what was the thing about Isaac Newton where it was like, yes, and he left all of his belongings to his male best friend. And he said, you are my reason for living. You are my everything. And I love you so <laughs> dearly. They, like, they certainly were very good friends. Yeah, they were, they were homies. They were close, you know? <laughs> oh my God. That's what I think of like a homie wedding. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Okay, I'm I'm tr I'm trying desperately not to think about like what my opinion and thoughts were of you in the beginning because I my first impressions I feel like we'll all we've all talked about that about yeah. almost everything, mm. but like just but they like, haven't heard it. You guys have talked about it together, but yeah. the chat hasn't heard it. Have they? No, no, no. Like I have talked about oh, it like, okay, on okay, stream. Yeah, we've talked about, about it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this is more yeah. so like my my opinion on Bo Box and like how it might may yeah. or may not have changed like when like I saw him in person. Uh, you just always struck me as like, like that one friend that is always there. So I guess um, the word I would pick would be dependable. Mm -hmm. Very dependable. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, like when, whenever there's uh, there anything going on, like positive, negative, mm -hmm. like you're always there and like willing to like, is there anything I can do to help out? Or like, do you want to like just chill? Or like, hey, yeah. do you have a minute? Do you want to play Apex or something? Like anything like that. It's just so like, like nice, especially for me because I'm like, as a novelist, it's very easy to get like caught up in like 
work and whatnot. And as a before you know it, you've spent like the past like year and a half just working on something and realize that you've lost like seven different connections and you start feeling really lonely. Yeah. And ever since I got into DG, like that's I've sort of changed for the better and I don't feel alone anymore, <laughs> if that makes sense. And like, so whenever I'm sitting in VC, like, and, like more often than not, I can count on Vox showing up, even even if it's just for a short bit. Just the fact that we are able to exchange a few words is like really, really nice. So like dependable is like yeah, one word that I would easily like use to describe you. And now that I've met you in person, <laughs> like it, it's not really sort of that hasn't changed. But uh, if I were to add a, another word on top of it that like I, comes to mind now, what would that be? Uh. I can't really think of anything that I didn't already think. It's just... It's <sighs> mm. a good one. Emotional. <laughs> Emotional damage. Emotional, Emotional damage. damage. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't do my makeup before this. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find a word that, that would be soon. Usually I don't have like this much struggling with words and I'm also like to think of that, like that essay you just pulled out of thin air. <laughs> like, I'm, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I'm just, like, doing such a crap job in no, comparison. No, hey, don't you that. worry about it, man. Um, it's okay. Uh, gosh. Like, everything that's coming to me, like, it's essentially the same. It's just, like, <clears throat> elevated to a, like, entirely new level. Like, to... It's essentially, like I said with Mista, like, bo and like w now that I met you, it sort of went from friend mm -hmm. to just like, like brothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> essentially. It's just, like, I just feel so at home and peace in, in Niji Ian and just especially like Luxium. It's just, I feel so fortunate so lucky that i not not like because of anything like opportunities or anything like that it's just i found friends i found yeah. connection i found for lack of a better term like mr said a family yeah man <laughs> force i don't know the word the word dependable hits me pretty hard yeah. because oh, that's 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 me. that's that's a difficult um, that's a really difficult thing to live up to. Like, I'm not to say that I don't like you for saying it. I'm so thankful because I've never, I'm, I'm kind of a mess in real life. Okay. Like I, like, remember what at the beginning of the stream, we were talking about whose room was the messiest. Yeah. I, I have a real problem with like hyper-focusing on one thing and not being able to like switch to another thing. And with streaming, I am so happy to just do that and do nothing else, but I forget to I forget to look after myself sometimes, and to know that maybe if not in some other ways, maybe if I would forget other things, to know that at least in terms of like being a friend and being emotional, that I am actually dependable. That it, I could not imagine something more helpful or something that more effective to be told at any given moment. That's that's really special, man. Thank you. It, it's yeah. it's the truth. You're yeah. shit. It's both of mine were like that. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to spoil it. Okay, go. No, I, I, I was. I, I think um, there's one last thing I want to say that I thought I thought about a while ago, but I never really. I think I told Ike, but I don't think I really told anybody else. If you haven't seen the most recent Spider-Man movie, um, <laughs> mute if you don't want to get it spoiled. But then again, it's been out for months now, so like you know, if it, you care about spoilers, is, you should have seen I it. I think it, it, it. Like I swear it's out on digital now. It's probably out in digital, so like, whatever, but this is a spoiler. When, in that movie, the whole thing is that Peter Parker has no true connection with basically anybody. He sort of struggles to find, to find like a genuine emotional connection. And then in that movie, he meets people who are like him. And they talk about bizarrely similar experiences they have to do a bizarrely similar thing. And I know this is gonna sound super sappy, but when I joined Luxium, I felt like I had met my Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, when did this God. become a, like, 
complimenting Ike again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about all of you guys. Yeah, it's I not mean, just me and you, Mister. It's <laughs> Luke and Shu too. We're all, mm -hmm. we're all, like, 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 like brothers is the right word. I mean, we're yeah. all, we're all always present and we're all always looking out for each other. And I, I don't know if I can say that I've. I mean, obvious, obviously, like. You know, having been alive for as long as I have, you know, 400 years or whatever, like you, 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 you come and go with a lot of people. But I think since since I was since I was with my with my beautiful clan all that time ago, I think that since then I've never really felt like kinship like I have at this very moment. And I can't thank you enough mm -hmm. for having made me maybe feel like I belong somewhere as much as I do at the moment. Keep feelings entirely for chill. Give me a yeah, hug, you, oh, give me a yeah. hug, you fucking bastard. <laughs> come here, you. Come here, you. Give me a fucking hug, you bastard. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh,